from player to assistant coach to head coach, all at Red Bull Arena. And there have been two phenomenal rides for me, and I'm planning on this being a phenomenal ride as well. Andy brought me in, asked me if I'd like to be the head coach of New York Red Bulls, and before he got the word Bulls out, my hand was across the table. And he asked me, he said, well, we have to talk about money and stuff, and I put my hand back across the table. Quickest negotiation uh, in, in life. Even though I'd always hoped for it, but it was sudden and it was a little bit unexpected, not one thing changed from that moment on, you know, because I'm not going to become a different person. I'm going to keep doing the things that gave me this great opportunity. When we talk about being a head coach, especially in a sporting and uh, a professional sports environment, I'm not going to teach Thierry Henry, Tim Cahill, Dax McCarthy how to pass the ball. They know how to do that. I'm not going to show them how to score a goal. They obviously know how to do that. What my role is not an X's and O's things to me. It's a player management thing. It's putting out a style and a system that I want to play, which I already know what that is, and having the players believe in that and work hard for me. The one thing that I'm going to get across to these guys is like I said, from the first whistle to the last, we are going to work behind the ball, with the ball. Um, whether that translates to success, uh, I'm sure we're going to have our, our peaks and valleys, um, but at the end of the day, I'll be very satisfied and very happy with uh, the, the work that they're giving me. Uh, my number one priority right now is to get the boys in shape, uh, instill my game plan into them, the way we're going to play, but I really want to create a culture here, a culture that has not been uh, with New York, an identity that we have, what type of team we are playing. That's going to trickle down from the first team to the academy. No longer the days where I've seen for the last couple of years where, uh, I'll take Thierry Henry for example, gets knocked down on the field and one guy standing over him and everyone's walking back to their position. Okay, I'm not condoning violence or anything, but if one player of us gets knocked down, they better have two players uh, picking him up and getting that guy out of the way. If some two guys have a word with one of our guys, we're going to have four guys behind them. It's a team, we're together, on and off the field, and we're gonna fight for each other. And if we don't, there's gonna be some changes made. I want us to be obviously a hardworking team, and we will be a hardworking team. And from the moment of the whistle to the end, we're gonna be playing for the supporters and for the organization. It's the way I always have, it's about the 11 on the field, it's about the bench players, it's about the organization, it's about the supporters. I love you, you guys are everything to me. Um, my heart and soul, like I said before, whatever success that we get, going forward is always going to include you guys. You guys are as much to gain from this as the players and the organization. You have been with us forever. And nothing changes as far as me with you guys now. I'll still be coming over to the supporter section and I'll still be going to your Christmas parties uh, next year. So thank you very much for all your support and uh, I can't tell you how much I love you guys.